Hello everyone, I am Prathamesh Jaju, your Astro Buddy. Today we have this telescope, the Pyometrix Pegasus Telescope and we are going to see how to use this telescope to point to our desired astronomical objects. So firstly we will try to understand what kind of telescope this is and then we will see how to point it towards the night sky. But before this, have you installed this telescope yet? If not, just click on the link above. So this telescope is a Newtonian kind of telescope. So it uses mirrors instead of lenses. Coming to the physical part of the telescope, it is divided into three parts. The tripod, the mount and the optical tube. So first step is to lose these two screws that we have here. This will allow us to move the telescope in two directions. Left, right and up, down. So the moon right now is over here. And the easiest object to point towards the night sky as a beginner is the moon. So the next step in bringing our desired object, the moon, from our telescope is to find the object in our finder scope. So the moon is somewhere over here right now. I'm going to move this telescope, get the moon in this finder scope. So when you look through the finder scope, you'll see a plus shaped wire. So we have to bring the moon in that wire at the center of that wire. So now we have pointed the finder scope towards the moon and we have brought it to the center of those crosshair. So now we are going to use this 20 mm eyepiece. So with the Pegasus telescope, you will have three eyepieces the 20mm, 12mm and 6mm. Now we have installed the eyepiece. After this, there is a very important step, which is to focus the object. So we're going to use this wheel over here and we are going to focus it and it is sharp. So now we have observed the moon with the 20mm eyepiece. Now we want to zoom it even further and take a look at the craters and the mountain ranges of the moon. So for this, we'll use the 12mm eyepiece first. So with the 12mm eyepiece, we can see the craters and mountain ranges in its complete beauty. But now we want to zoom it even further to take a closer look at those mountains and craters as well. So for that, we'll use the 6mm eyepiece. Alright, now we have observed the moon through the telescope. But who doesn't like taking pictures of the moon? For that, we are going to use this mobile phone adapter that is provided with the kit. First, we are going to take the phone and attach it to the mobile phone adapter. And then, we are going to align it on the cameras and we will lock the eyepiece with the mobile phone adapter and once it is locked, we can take pictures of the moon with our mobile phones. This was all about the Pegasus telescope. If you want to locate other objects with the help of this telescope, you can use different star maps like Stellarium, Sky Hunter, etc. And with the help of that, you can point towards different objects like Saturn, Jupiter, etc. Hope you had fun watching this video. Do let us know in the comment section if you have any doubts regarding this. Thank you.